Hi everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we opened the door to World 3, Clanker's Cavern, and now in this part we're going in. Just the one move to learn this time, but it's hidden well. So this level is basically like a sewer level. And it's actually pretty tiny, so some of the jiggies can be pretty clustered together. It's a cluster fuck. <laughs> Anyone seen that Family Guy episode? <laughs> okay. Watch out for these guys. They have a pattern. They'll jump three times, retreat. Jump three more times, retreat. So this world is actually pretty tiny, but there's more to it than you may see at first. Right, just collect these first few notes and other items. Oh, uh, oh, camera went funny. And here's the first Jinjo. And that's all there is to the level, no there's not. Down here. You see a pipe. And then you see that this world is a lot bigger than just this. On the other end of this pipe, is something that might scare some people. Buzz, I am Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water, want fresh air. It's just what he's doing now is what seems to be scary. But you know, this is Clanker and well, he's actually not too bad, he's very f he's friendly. So yeah, some people would say that this part of the game was what scared them. Guess what? That wasn't what scared me. What scared me? The freaking shark in Treasure Trove Cove. <laughs> and that was all there was to it. Not even that world that is, well, based on a haunted house. Kind of spoiled it there, didn't I? But this is the rest of the world, actually. There's loads of different pipes underwater that lead to different spots, mostly dead ends that have goodies in them. And there's one that's kind of risky to take that leads to a jiggy, so it's best to do that one first because more or less you're gonna be very low in air. Just make your way through here and be careful when you do this because you could get trapped if you're not careful, especially if you're not used to the controls, which you should be. And there's the first Jiggy at a dead end, so now you have to make your way back quickly. If you really aren't used to the N64 control stick, you will struggle with this. And you could run out of air. Now I'm gonna go this way, and while I'm doing this I can talk about something. So yesterday, the last story did indeed come out, but something kind of went not according to plan. Certain retailers, mainly Game and GameStation, they refused to stock the last story. Now, they did made this, this this they made this decision just days before the launch, just days before it. That sucks. Go this way and we can get a mumbo token. Good thing this pipe's short. So really, if you really want the last story and you live in Europe, all I can say is... Well, I heard HMV does sell it. I just didn't really see it there. But I highly recommend you buy it from Amazon. It's pretty much out. The only where you can buy it. The limited edition bundle especially. So I had to go onto Amazon and I had to make an account there just to get the last story. But oh, let's hope it'd be worth it. Alright. Alright, you might want to swim slowly for this, but in this pipe here, there's an there is a Where is it? There it is. An extra honeycomb piece. 
Now I'm going to go for this dark green pipe at the very back here. Because, well, there's something there. There's actually a boss fight this way. You know, some music just randomly sped up. In here are the snippet mutants. Shall we? Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. Ow. But they're the same as regular snippets. Just ground pound them and you want to kill them and you give out two honeycomb pieces rather than one. If you attack them any other way, then they actually just flip over. And there you go. Easy. Easy boss by is easy. His beaten snippet mutants are we. Yours is prize. So they're the mutant snippets. Which is fitting because we're in the sewers. I don't know what this this um, thing is that we're standing on, but lights coming out of it. That could be like where there was a leak and it's what caused the toxic waste to spill on the snippets and cause them to mutate. Okay, make sure I have all the notes. Now, there's still a few things to do before we do anything about Clanker. I'm sorry, Clanker, but as much as you're begging for air, I can't do it right now. Wait, I think I need to. You know, on second thought, we need to free Clanker. Right, now this is where you're going to need to really watch what you do. We need to dive down here, where his chain is, right down into the pit where the music becomes freaky. I used to mute my TV volume when I was younger when I came down here because the music scared me. And down here there's going to be a giant key attached to an anvil. Random I know, but it's here. Alright, there's a fish around here that's going to be of big help. Alright, you need to swim for the key three times. Alright, this is Gloop. Augustus Gloop! Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Down here's the green Shinjo. We saved the green thing from drowning somehow. I mean, the fact he wasn't drowning is what was somehow about it. Make sure you grab these notes. And be careful not to run out of air. Gloop is does swim slowly, so it's not hard to catch up with him. But just be careful. And make sure you do swim up to him. Okay, there's the second time we swam for the key. Alright, we've got some air. And he produces them quite often. So, as long as you can get to Gloop, you shouldn't have too much trouble down here. Okay, so there's a third time. So that will cause the chain to make Clanker rise out of the water. And a Jiggy appears on his back. So now we just have to swim back up. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. So now this is where the true level begins, actually, because with Clanker, he's basically one of those characters that we have to enter. And even though he's made of metal, look at this. Is this blood or is it rust? Probably just rust. And you also notice his blowhole is actually covered by a, screw, a giant screw and that's one of the places where we can enter him. We can enter in six different ways. No wait, it's five. We can enter through the gills on each side and we can also enter through two openings in his, in his mouth, just not right now. Whoa! Okay, make your way across this pipe very carefully and you can see a jiggy in plain sight. So there's another Jiggy for this world, that brings us to three. Careful. Save myself from damage. So there's the Jiggy. I'm going to ignore that for now, we're going to go on to his dorsal... Oh, 
Ah, they, that's not the dorsal fin. This is the tail fin. <laughs> Now this one's kind of strange, I have to press B in front of this. And for some reason the, the fanfare plays. And down here we've got some notes, grab those. Now when I was a kid I could never get... I, can, I didn't actually know how I was supposed to help Clanker out, so I actually tried to glitch my way onto these high platforms without Clanker being risen up. And I actually did it somehow. I I just I was just blind, that's all. I didn't know you had to dive down there. And when I did dive down there, I was kind of scared. Alright, so now that Clanker has been risen out of the water, we can get on his fins and get up here. Alright, there's two ways to go. We're gonna go right first because there's less stuff there. Nice. Ikabukum. Uh, no banjo on it. There we go. So then just climb up here. Now there's two ways to go, but I'm going to get these notes first. Okay, pound this, and we get a honey, an extra honeycomb piece, so now that's going to give us 7 hit points, which is awesome. Now you can probably hear him, the ginger. So now just slide down here. And there's a one-up. Now it's time to finally collect the Jiggy. On Clanker's back. Uh, okay. You can also hear Clanker breathing, which I don't see why he'd need to breathe. He's 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 a he's a he's a robot. Bzzz. Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help Clanker. But first off, there is another pipe down here, and this one actually connects to another exit. You want to go this way, because there's the blue Jinjo. So now Clanker's complaining of toothache. And it doesn't seem like Carrots are to blame this time. He's actually got two bad teeth, one on each side, and they're actually the gold colored teeth. You just need to aim at those. Just stand on these platforms and just shoot his teeth. Three times. There we go. So then that teeth lowers and we can get inside. To fake the side gone, Clank has swallowed reward. Alright, so we've got the one that has the jiggy. But we can also remove the tooth that's on the other side, the left side, his left. Okay, I hit it once. Yeah, you can probably tell we're using eggs a lot in this game. Right, so this tooth is good. Now this, t now for curing this toothache, again, we'll get just a mumbo token. Alright, now we are going to enter Clanker, but I'm going to enter for the blowhole because, well, it's just wise to. So when the screw comes out, jump inside. And this is why, because there's a witch switch, which will... 
Her eyes are popping out. All right, watch out here. We've got these blades we have to dodge. Which can be really tough because of the way the camera's placed. I just like to go for it blindly. And there'll be a jiggy. Now, I'm going to go this way. This leads to Clanker's stomach. I guess this place didn't scare me because it was, well, mechanical. Oh, watch out for that tentacle. Tentacle rape. It's bad. I want to fly up here. And this is something I don't understand with rare. Whenever you enter the belly of another creature in a rare game on the N64, the music has burp and fart sounds in it. And this looks really dangerous and impossible to get through without getting hurt. But look, it's bottles. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does, hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely though. As this move requires gold feathers, and you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. You've learnt all of my new moves for this world, the rest is up to you. Right, the way, remember, the, you gotta remember. You can only carry up to ten because, well, that stops the move from being overpowered. It will cost one gold feather to use it, and then it will cost a gold feather every three seconds. So you need to be invincible to get through here. And there's a jiggy, and thankfully a gold feather restock. So now I'm going to make my way across. Now this move, you won't really use this move much in the game. But it will be important for m later on. So I'd say, while the move is not required to actually beat the game, it's still going to make it a lot easier at a certain point. And why did you do that, Banjo? Alright, I'm actually going to leave. There are two exits in his belly, which actually are the gills. I'm going to go this way first, collect the notes while I'm at it. <coughs> and I'm going to enter through the mouth. Well, not the mouth, because I'm not really showing everything, am I? I'm going to go back into the blowhole. Come on. Ah. Out. Okay, I'm stopping the video here. So, next time on Banjo Kazooie, we're going to carry on through Clanker's belly. So, until next time, see you later. And I'm, on the, I'm spinning on the spot.